Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony from Balloon Twisting 101. What's up guys? High five. Boom. <laughs> Alright guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about pinch twist. They're also known as ear twist or teddy bear twist because it's the, you use them for the ear of the teddy bear. So yeah, the pinch twist. Now I remember when I was first starting out, um, I was trying to learn, the first thing I ever tried to learn how to make, or one of the first things I ever tried to learn how to make was a teddy bear and I was trying to do the pinch twist on the teddy bear ear and it was very frustrating for me you know I didn't give up I kept doing it got it down really good but it did take practice for me you know I just it was very frustrating with that ear twist <laughs> so yeah this video is going to be about that I'm going to teach you guys how to do it so alright let's get started okay so I got a um, Qualtex brand balloon size 260 I'm just going to go ahead and use my trusty pump right here I'm going to fill it up uh, about halfway with air just enough to where I can show you how to do some pinch twists Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off in a knot. And if you guys are having trouble tying knots in your balloons, I made a video that shows you the best way I know how. And I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so as you can see, we have the nozzle right up here up top. And every once in a while when you're making a sculpture, sometimes it actually requires you to start off with a pinch twist right up here up top. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and just make a, uh, like a one inch bubble. So you have that. And then um, hold it in place with your hand. And so what I'm going to do is see that knot, the knot on the nozzle, I'm going to pinch that knot and I'm going to bring it down like that. Bring it down and what you're going to do is you're going to pull up that bubble just a little bit, ever so slightly, just pull up that bubble and twist it. But what you want to do is the knot that's on that nozzle, you want that knot to be below the twist you're about to do. So pick it up, twist it, and you want that knot to be under the twist you're about to do. That will lock it into place. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit, twist it, and the knot's underneath the twist, and that locks it into place. Okay, so sometimes when you're making a sculpture, it'll actually require for you to do a pinch twist in the middle of the balloon or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a random twist. I'm going to go ahead and make a one inch bubble right here. Okay, so I'm going to bring down both sides of the balloon like that, I'm going to hold them into place. And so this bubble, we're going to turn it into a pinch twist. Now, um, it does take practice, so but um, you'll get the hang of it, though. So this bubble, I'm going to pull it up ever so slightly. But also, what I like to do is with my thumb, I'm going to push down a little bit. And with my index finger, I'm going to push it up a little bit. So it's kind of pushing the bubble at an angle like that. It's like, like that. I'll show you front view and back view. But my thumb can go down. And my index finger is going to push up a little bit. Now I'm going to show you the back view of that. It does take practice though. I, I could kind of try to show you with the video. But you're going to have to get the feel of it yourself. As you do them, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. And you'll, keep, you'll be able to do them no problem. This is my point of view. So I'm just going to make a random twist. I'm going to make a one inch bubble right here. So now you have this, I'm going to push these sides down together like that. And so what I like to do is I'm going to pull it up a little bit and twist it, but my thumb is going to go down a little bit like that, and my um, index finger is going to go up at an angle kind of up like that. So it's going to be like, like that. It's going to... Another thing you need to be careful is like when you're making your teddy bear or something like that, you could um, do a twist the wrong way and that's really bad. So I'm going to show you, like, I'll give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and make a round twist. Do another one inch level. Now let's say I was trying to make an ear for like a teddy bear or something like that. Now if you twist it the wrong way, it'll actually make the bubble go away. See how it went, it went away? I twisted it the wrong way. And that's very frustrating. That's what I was doing a lot of when I was first starting out. And so that's what I don't want you guys to do. I, don't want, I want you guys to learn from the mistakes I made. So, you know, I just kept turning it the wrong way. So you don't want to do that. But when you get the hang of it, you'll be able to just, you know, make your twist real easy, no problem. Okay, so now another thing that you may encounter when you're doing pinch twists is you may have to do them right next to each other. And that's 
that could be that's one of the hardest things is when they're right next to each other, especially if you have to do a lot of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a round twist. I'm gonna do a one inch bubble right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pinch twist the way I showed you. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a one inch bubble right next to the pinch twist. One inch bubble. So I'm gonna hold everything in a place. Do a one inch bubble. Now to do this one, I'm gonna have to move this one out of the way. So what I like to do is I hold it in a place and use my index finger and kind of push it to the side like that. Like that. So go like that, push it to the side. And then this one I'm gonna pull it up a little bit and twist it. The same way we do it, just we're gonna do the same, it's actually the same thing. You're actually doing the same thing, except the only thing you're doing is you're pushing this one out of the way. So push it out of the way and you do a pinch twist the way I've been showing you. So And then you got two pinch twists next to each other. Now if you would like to get a really good practice session in for a pinch twist and get really good at it, this is what I'm about to show you right now is a really good uh, practice session. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, fill up this balloon with about half air, half full. Go ahead and tie it off. So what I would do is I would always start off with the pinch twist right here up top, where I would like make a quick bubble, grab the knot, and then um, pull it up and twist it and then make the twist above the knot, just do that. Go ahead and get that one out of the way, lock it into place. So every time you practice with the balloon, you do that one first, and then right then and there, do start doing pinch twists. Just do like a random twist, do a one inch bubble next to it, hold it into place, and then do a pinch twist. And then just do another, another twist, one inch bubble, hold that into place, and then just do a pinch twist. Just so that I get the hang of it, just keep doing that. Do another one. Do a one inch bubble next to it. And then just do a pinch twist. You could, and then also you wanna practice, not just where it's like this, you wanna practice where it's at different angles too. Cause sometimes you're doing a teddy bear or something. So you just wanna like, practice it at different angles too. Sideways and and this way, and just different ways, just to get the hang of it. And then you just keep going. Um, that's really good practice. So when you get real comfortable with the practice session I just showed you, and you do the whole balloon of pinch twists, then if you really want to get really good at the pinch twist, then you'll do a bunch of pinch twists right next to each other. Boom, 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 boom. You just you do them right next to each other. Hold those out of the way. And then do a pinch twist right here. And just do a bunch of pinch twists, like one after the other, after the other, after the other. And that, if you could do that, then you could pretty much do any anything you can encounter, you'll be able to do it. So, so I really hope this tutorial helped you guys on how to do a pinch twist. The only way to really learn is to just do it yourself. You just got to practice, practice, practice. I know that's what I had to do. You, that way, you get the feel for it. You get the feel for how, you know, the angle and the pressure of your fingers and the angle of your fingers and and everything like that. And as you do them, you'll just get better and better at it. That's the only real way to learn. But I know this video will help you on your pathway to learning how to do them. Oh yeah, there's this really cool video. It's called, Are You a Good Person? I'd really like for you guys to watch it. It's really eye-opening, eye opens your eyes, opens your mind, really makes you think. So I'm gonna put a, a link in the description below and also an annotation right here. All right guys, practice, practice, practice. Don't give up late. Peace, God bless, boom.